Uh, hello everybody. Uh, this is video class about uh, turning points. Uh, you see, I tell you from beginning, honestly, I don't know how to forecast turning points. Absolutely have not idea how to do it. I tried to do it many, many times and actually in this video class uh, I will show you what I did regarding turning points. Uh, firstly, uh, I tried to build um, a special indicator, uh, we call it uh, the trended zigzag and use this indicator in a spectrum in all modules. I will show you. I run a spectrum module and you see uh, we'll, we'll uh, set customized target, target here. Ada. And here click on the edit and there is special feature here, uh, the trended zigzag. Uh, turning points. Turning points, zigzag and the trend is zigzag. Uh, now click OK and look how this detrend is zigzag looks. You see, I uh, make this uh, target uh, target visible and uh, you see how it looks. You can, uh, this is, uh, we actually calculate just a uh, regular zigzag, calculate uh, turning points like uh, from this point to this point and after that uh, next point and uh, you see and we'll uh, calculate it this way we uh, remove uh, we make a zigzag uh, detrended you see there are no, no thread because you uh, uh, classical zigzag this is just uh, i will show you classical zigzag uh, this is uh, simply uh, simply this you see this is lines but uh, here we make the zigzag uh, flat detrended and you see uh, we can use um, in uh, this zigzag in our calculation, we can uh, try to calculate a spectrum, by, but I tell you, spectrum is not working here, it's uh, strange results. Uh, we can try to uh, calculate uh, like an astronomy, we calculate the neural net model, uh, try to build neural net dynamic model uh, based on uh, to forecast this zigzag, because you see, if we can forecast this zigzag, we can for forecast turning points. You see, uh, this is top, it shows. Uh, top, this bottom, it shows bottom, but uh, this approach uh, I did uh, from my understanding, uh, this approach is not working. Just a sec. Okay, uh, next. Uh, next, I try to build kind of predictable zones. Uh, look at this, uh, look at this, I run astronomy model. Uh, by default, this is always annual cycle. Let's I will do some changes here. We'll make display it annual scale, uh, uh, date scale, time scale. You see it shows not angle, but uh, time. And you see there is feature here, active zones, uh, and set here uh, turning points. Turning points, look at this. Now we have um, uh, uh, these red stripes. This is uh, top turning points. You see, we can see how uh, uh, top and bo uh, blue, this is uh, bottom turning points, how turn turning points uh, distributed uh, uh, seasonally. We have, you see, it shows, uh, for example, you, we have some cluster here, a blue castle cluster here. Blue, it uh, means uh, this is uh, uh, bottom turning points and uh, this uh, chart uh, indicates us uh, that we have uh, more than usual uh, turning points in the uh, beginning of September. Uh, then we have uh, practically no turning points in December, but we have many turn turning points uh, beginning of uh, January, here it is. Uh, the same story for uh, top border turning points, but you see, um, it's, yeah. No, we have more turning points here, uh, top, point, top point, turning points. Uh, the same way we can analyze uh, uh, any other angle, for example, angle separation, moon phases. Moon phases, this is angle separation between moon and sun. So I will set this angle, moon, sun, moon, sun. Uh, you see uh, zero degrees, this is a uh, uh, conjunction moon and sun, this is new moon. Opposition, uh, this is full moon. Okay, uh, what this chart indicates us, it indicates us that uh, we have more uh, top turning points, it's uh, after new moon. Uh, I tell you it's about uh, four or five days after new moon, we have, you see, we have some clusters here. 
uh, more top turning points after new moon. And practically zero to turning points about full moon opposition. The, uh, this is angle separation um, opposition between sun and moon. This is uh, a full moon. It's uh, practically no top po po turning points, but we have some amount of bottom turning points. Uh, the same way you can actually analyze any cycle, for example, uh, a moon tropical cycle, moon tropical. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, let's analyze um, uh, Venus cycle. Uh, Venus cycle, yeah. Moon draconic cycle. Moon draconic cycle, this is angle separation between moon in north north, it seems to me it works, you see, we have um, uh, many uh, turn, bottom turning points, uh, a few days before a conjunction moon and uh, north north, and, uh, north north, you see we have a cluster here. So, actually, this is interesting approach, it gives some information and uh, the, uh, this is practically uh, only this feature, feature works, other, I don't know. Uh, next approach, uh, you see, um, I try to make a kind of statistical analysis. You see, we simply calculate the distance, distances between uh, turning points, distance between this turning point and this turning point, this turning point, and this turning point, and so on. And we try to find some, maybe there are special um, distances that uh, um, took place more often than other. Uh, this calculation you can do it using this module, um, uh, turning points analyzer, here it is, and here, uh, uh, click here zigzag statistic, in zigzag statistic will generate report now. Will, uh, this report will display distance between uh, turning points. We can calculate bit distance between all turning points, or we can calculate distance between tops only, tops turning points, tops and next top, or uh, bottoms. Let's analyze all tops and bottoms. Okay, click create report. This is the report, and now go to this. This is our report, and you see. It shows uh, the dates and uh, distance between turning points. This top distance between previous the bottom it's uh, 120, uh, 20, uh, 27 days. Bottom uh, distance between this uh, top and this bottom uh, 630 days. Uh, what you can do, you can click this button and uh, just arrange. You see, you can see, see this. Uh, uh, this distance is um, arranged and you see uh, this way we can check it and uh, find maybe some distances uh, took place more often than other, others. Um, by the way, you can uh, do the same looking at uh, this histogram. Histogram, it shows uh, histograms for distances between uh, turning points and uh, you can increase amount of beans. Uh, it seems to me nothing here, nothing here. Maybe there is some cluster here about uh, 160 days, 80 and 70 days. But I don't know, you see, it does not look promising. Okay, and last approach, this is uh, Bartels dial, Bartels Tarasov dial. Uh, do this. Uh, you see, I yesterday asked about uh, uh, top turning points for Forex. Okay, uh, I run Bartels Tarasov dial analyzer, and you see by default it displays uh, only dates, only dates for top and bottoms. Uh, we will analyze only tops. We will analyze a distance between between tops only, and you see it. Uh, the program will uh, displays all uh, tops for. Um, uh, for uh, Forex, uh, this is Euro, Euro is there. Uh, you can make this zigzag, this turning points uh, more and less detailed, just click on the zigzag button and change parameter there. Okay, let's leave it as it is. And now I run Bartels harmonic dial, here it is. 
uh, this module uh, what it does it allows to find the most um, the most uh, typical distances between turning points between these dates uh, first they will say set range uh, period range i will set and let's say with 15 days still uh, let's say with 200 days so click calculate and wait a bit okay you see it's calculated it's uh, calculated the most uh, promising uh, distance between two uh, turning points at uh, uh, 91 uh, days uh, but you see my friends actually i do not like this uh, periodogram this periodogram you see uh, this is very noisy the periodogram the very noisy periodogram you see uh, i will show you the picture I uh, try to find on the internet picture for white noise i have found this picture white noise looks this way you see like you see a lot of oscillation but irregular oscillation you see and um, uh, there is some cycles, but they are, uh, these cycles are very, very, very weak cycles. And you see in today's update, uh, I sent you an uh, update for Bartels Dial. You can uh, set uh, increase this parameter, uh, do smoothing, kind of smoothing. Yeah, it allows to see some, some, some peaks, but it seems the most uh, promising peak is this one. Okay, so just remember this period. Uh, 91 59 day cycle okay i will copy this cycle to clipboard copy and now next step i close everything else and next step i will okay okay and now i run a planetary steps charting tool we will calculate planetary steps based on this step okay so i will set, set here this our steps 8159 days d point point 50 it will be 50 lines 50 stripes and i will make it red and uh, i will make a copy and uh, in uh, opposite direction another direction it will be blue so now we will draw these lines lines separa separated by um uh, uh, 81 uh, 58 days blue okay uh, look at this i just uh, draw this um charting tool it is this this is stop this stop you see pro and uh, just look does it forecast something or not uh, i don't know try to another I, I uh, try to catch uh, top turning points. You see, I put a uh, top here and catch these turning points, but catch this one. So, my friends, this is uh, this is everything what I have. You can try another cycles, another cycles like this. Uh, it's about thirty day cycle, maybe this cycle uh, one hundred fifty day cycles. But you see, this spectrum is very noisy. So, this is what I have. Thank you.